Our team coverage moves now to CBS 4's Kenneth Craig. He's live in Boston where the snow is falling. And Kenneth, how are the conditions looking like there? Well, Elliot, I can tell you over the last couple of hours, we've watched as these conditions have changed, and frankly, they have changed pretty dramatically. You can see the snow is coming down, the wind is starting to pick up, and really, this is just the beginning. Plows tried to stay ahead of the snow along the Jersey Shore Thursday morning, but not fast enough for some drivers. I'm stuck. I can't get to work. The winter storm that's being called a bomb cyclone with snow, ice, and strong winds spans nearly the entire length of the eastern seaboard. Hold up. All right. Overnight in Norfolk, Virginia, the whiteout conditions trapped a police car on Interstate 264. Others got on the ground to dig their cars out. Boston and other parts of New England should get the brunt of it. Forecasters expect a foot to a foot and a half of snow with winds up to 75 miles per hour. It's not just the wind that forecasters are worried about, but how quickly the snow could be coming down, upwards of three inches per hour. We always get a couple of blizzards a year, so we're kind of expecting it. This is nothing. If a New England person is crying about this, they need to go back to Arkansas or Mississippi. Southerners had a different reaction to the storm Wednesday. This is crazy. Drivers in Savannah, Georgia had to clear off their cars. I don't really even know how to drive on the road like this in this type of weather. And Tallahassee, Florida saw snow Wednesday for the first time in 28 years. But even when the snow stops falling, there's no relief. Single digit temperatures return to the Northeast. And despite the conditions right now and what's predicted over the next couple of hours, there is not a travel ban in place in the city of Boston, at least not for right now. So that means people can be on the roads, the buses are running, even the subways right now until all of that changes. Kenneth Craig reporting live in Boston, CBS 4 News.